So you say your role now has changed. What what do you do now? <laughs> um, now the focus really is more on partnership working across local authority boundaries. Uh, that's because there's increasingly a recognition that economic forces don't just shudder to a halt um, because this is the boundary between Preston and South Ribble uh, or between Preston and Wire or, and so forth. So it's important for us to think about how what happens in Preston um, relates to what happens in Blackpool or in Manchester um, and how we can collectively work with colleagues um, particularly in Mid Lancashire but in Lancashire as a whole to address some of the economic issues. Um, the flip side of that coin is also that uh, as each local authority comes under greater financial pressure um, it's obviously a way of being more efficient in delivering services and addressing deeper seated issues. So my role now um, is largely um, focused on promoting those sub-regional and cross-border issues, not just with other local authorities, but with central government, regional government, uh, and the private sector. Uh, and that's across the spread of activities from housing through transport to economic development, regeneration, skills and training, um, the whole package. Um, and it's a kind of very creative, dynamic, challenging, all those kind of uh, adjectives that one wants to, to, to play in there. In terms of things that are particularly uh, important, or we hope will be particularly important over the next few years, I think the two major things will be, first of all, um, the resolution of the planning inquiry into the Tide Barn Regeneration Scheme. Um, we fully expect that to be resolved in the favour of the development um, and assuming that that's the case then work we would expect to start on regenerating a major slice of Preston City Centre uh, we'd expect that to start um, around 2011. The slight downside of that would be and that I should say would see an investment of about 700 million of private sector um, capital into the area, the creation of 3,000 new jobs uh, and uh, a, a whole host of ancillary benefits on the back of that. The slight downside would be if we work to that timetable is that um, some of the city centre is going to be um, in uproar in 2012 which is when the next Preston Guild is um, and we're hoping this time to use that not just as an international celebration of Preston but we're also looking to uh, place some of the events in other areas of Lancashire and to make it much more a Lancashire celebration uh, than just uh, exclusively a Preston one. So those are the two things on the horizon.